Reading hands is a skill that every American Mahjong player should have if you want to play a defensive game. By monitoring the discards and exposures, you can determine what your opponents are playing. In this video, we're going to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are hands from a game played at Mahjong time. We are towards the end of the middle game, so we're picking from the third wall. This is about when you want to decide whether you want to play to win or switch to defense. This is my hand. I have a Quinta of Flowers and a Kong of two bams. There's only one hand this could be, and that is a quint with wins. And primarily because the only other hand it could be with five flowers would be consecutive run, fourth hand down, and you have to start with one. So there's no way to make that hand with a kong of twos. So that's why this has to be the quint with wins. What we don't know is which wind. So based on the exposures and discards, which wind do you think we have here? If I were this player, I would be a little bit concerned because I could either be playing east and west with evens or the first news hand, all wins. And this player is holding wins one or more. We don't know how ready they are. So the battle is here. Because we have a West, this player has to assume Easts are going to be required. East and West with evens, but they could be playing that big win hand, in which case they're going to need North and South. So this player, me, would have to decide whether to play to win or fold. In this case, because we need five wins, we could use jokers. I have south. And it worked out because this player would need east and west for sure. Whether or not they have north and south, we don't know. But this player, me, I could draw either a south or a joker from the wall and still win that quint. And we have a big wall to pick from. And what these other two players, although risky, they could still discard a wind, especially this player, because they have two exposures. They might be getting close to their winning hand. So I would think this player might discard a wind, but it would be very risky, especially because there's a big hand at the table. So here, the wind is south. And if I were an observer, I would assume either north or south because this player would maybe be in east and west with evens or north and south with pungs of east-west. Either way, this player playing the quint will likely be holding jokers to help them get that hand. Reading hands is a skill that takes time to develop, but if you focus on situational awareness, the discards, the exposures, and also body language if you're in a live setting. By doing that, you can gather information about what your opponents are playing in order to make good decisions on your own hand. Primarily, towards the end of the middle game and the end game, you can decide whether or not you want to push to win or switch to defense. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.